Jackie. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Of course, it's your favorite pit master Eddie right here and today we're unboxing a new toy. So after a lot of research on a great quality electric pump, looking through comments, looking through ratings, we decided to go with the Greenworks portable electric pressure washer. This unit was available at Lowe's. We know there's one available at Home Depot or Ryobi brand that a lot of people like, but we kind of wanted to stay within the $100 budget, so we went and grabbed this one. So today, what we're gonna do, gonna unbox it, show you guys the ins and outs, hopefully hook it up, spray a little water, and uh, give our quick review. So, let's get to it. As we open it up, as always, talk about the packaging. This one is nicely as it should be. Properly wrapped, a little bit of bubble insulation here. Just like here, we have our trusty, rusty cannon. We'll set that down here. Also have foam bottle. I've always wanted one of these, finally got one. And uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun with them, wash everything. Moving on in, we have, this looks like our main line here. Connects from the hose to the actual pump. And of course, we've got power. The most important part, we've got the Greenworks electric pressure pump. Set that down. Wand extension, good to go. And instructions. Oh, and also the nozzle in. Look at these later, but for now, let's take a look at what we got here. This is the complete unit. The Greenworks electric pressure washer, 1700 PSI, 1 1.2 gallons per minute ensemble, complete with foam cannon, wand extension, and the wand. So we're gonna put it all together here, let you guys see what a fully assembled looks like. A few moments later. All right, so this is our unit fully assembled. We're gonna go ahead and get our line in here. Power button here up top, comes complete with a 40, degree angled nozzle and a turbo nozzle as you can see here got them upside down but as you can see got the white nozzle on here we're gonna hook our line up hook some water up get some power to it we're gonna spray and see what it looks like moments later so fit forms all together got a green light here you can barely see it because it's daylight got water going in no leaks it's always good news and right, we're gonna give her a little bit of power here see what she does but first over here and pull this trigger to make sure our water circulating we get all the air out of the line because we don't want any terrible things to happen there we go we want to get all the air out of the line all right so we got regular function with no issue so put a little pressure to it see how she acts oh guess that was all the pressure coming into the line Line's fully pressurized, and let's hit it. Oh, that's nice. That is very nice. Now granted, the wand is not that long, but I will be doing all of my cleaning in the area of the trailer. So, that being said, let's see if we can knock off a little bit of this surface dirt off these tires. Now, one thing I do like so far is as soon as you get off of the trigger, it pressurizes the line and it stops. It doesn't just continue to run the motor and just continue to do an enormous amount of just build up and run that motor. So it's gonna save time and energy as this goes on. So when we do have the 8K <clears throat> Generac plugged up, we won't have to worry about just killing it all together when we're just running it. So that's great. Just doing some excess shooting here just to kind of see how it feels. Uh, one's very light. I like this 40 degree head. Gives us a nice angle on the chute. And uh, yeah, let's switch now and see what we think of everything else. 
All right, we swapped our wand out for the, I guess this is just the spray head. So let's see how it looks. So this is the cyclone head. I'm sorry that name was wrong, but the cyclone head, as I can hear, kind of sends the water out in the cyclone pattern and it gets to it. I love the way it sounds. Most definitely knocks off a lot of that nasty mildew and stuff. So this is gonna be great for just kind of doing just regular cleaning of the stainless steel in the trailer. I'm already in love with this thing. I'm glad I got this one. Yeah, I like how this thing gets down. So, another little area right here. Got a little bit of a uh, surface rust. Sorry, a little bit of surface debris. debris. See if we can knock it off. All right, got a little mildew up here. See if we can knock it off. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is perfect. This is what the doctor ordered. This is what we got and we're very glad we got it. This is gonna be great for cleaning grill grates. Very excited, we're most definitely gonna do a very good cleaning before we get ready to hit Swing and Bridge competition, guys. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and end it here and play around with it a little bit more. Uh, this is your guy, Eddie Wright, man. Thanks for tuning in. And always remember, you too can do amazing barbecue and pressure cleaning the right way.